Hello YouTubers. I should have started this video earlier but I didn't. So I'm going to have to start it now. Part way through the project. I picked this up. It comes in from Tibet. Uh, had a sheath that was made of thin uh, brass. It fell apart. It wasn't very good. Um, I've had this knife for a while. I picked it up on eBay for about 35 bucks. And it came with a set of chopsticks that was integrated into the sheath. I uh, decided, well, I might want me another one. Started looking at them, and they're like a couple hundred bucks now. They're not cheap. So I'm going to make a new sheath for this. I had made one. This is all done by hand. And I had that jute cord wrapped around it. And this was the loop for the belt and this held the knife on. I cut all that off, sanded this because um, I want to make uh, redo the sheath and I'm going to redo it. That's how this fits in here. And I want to make it where it's more usable and more rugged. So I'm thinking of coating it with this and seeing how well that holds up. I, haven't quite figured out whether I'm going to put a strap on it or put a uh, clip on it, but I'll figure that out when I get to that point. But we'll see how that works. And the way I'm going to do that and then that will allow me to hang it and let it dry. So I'm going to get started on this project and from time to time show you where I'm at on it. It's the second part of the knife video. Uh, you've seen the sheath and the pieces of it and this one's going to show you what I did with it and how I modified it. And I'm also going to talk about a, another knife uh, that I made some changes to. And there's going to be some bonus footing. Footing. Footing footage uh, at the end of this video uh, about some of my art but that is what I did to the sheath and as you can see I need to do some work on this uh, I'm going to tape it off and spray it with this uh, uh, flex seal this is the flex seal liquid and it doesn't paint very well and don't if you dip it it's too thick so I'm going to spray paint the bottom part of this and on this knife I don't have a strap around it to hold it into the sheath and I didn't want one um, this is kind of short because I wanted it to ride high on my belt so to be up under my jacket or my uh, shirt but I wanted a way to make it stay in the sheath so it had a hole in the handle and I made this little contraption so when it's on my belt I just reach down flip it and this comes out put it back in put it in the hole and bingo there it's holding it in now if while it's tied down it should pop out which it's going to have to have a lot of force it won't go any further than this and this knife is from Tibet and it's made from uh, supposedly a Chinese bayonet this is wrapped with bank cord I love bank cord uh, I actually like it better than the paracord. I have another bayonet and this is it. It came with the uh, metal sheath and I made the uh, frog to put it on my belt. This bayonet, the uh, handle was in good shape but it had some uh, 
nicks taken out of it and stuff. And the blade is in really good shape. I would say excellent shape. There's some marks that I put it on it when I was screwing around and not sharpening it right. But it's got a really good blade. Uh, if you want to paton wood and split it, this is great to do that. Uh, sharp, holds an edge pretty good. And with this new, para, uh, not paracord, excuse me, bank line wrap, I really like the way this looks. This is sweet. Like I said, uh, I've got the sheath. I've got these. Uh, this turned out better than I thought it did. I really like this, uh, the flex seal to protect the uh, wood because it's waterproof. I don't have to mess with it. So these turned out pretty good. Now for the bonus video. I am was doing some woodwork. I'm converting the shot back over to metal work because that's mainly what I like doing and what I do. And I'll be working on putting together Mr. Dragonfly. Uh, these wings are for another one. I haven't cut this guy's wings out yet. And there'll be a long bulb coming out of his uh, <coughs> abdomen. And uh, so I turn these into lamps. Um, I've got another one you'll be seeing pretty soon in another video because I've got to uh, fix it. i got to fix two of my dragonflies uh, because they leaped off a table and didn't turn, uh, didn't land very well. I actually wasn't thinking about what I was doing and knocked them off the table. But this guy will be turned into a lamp. Yes, this is a practice grenade. And... The uh, heads are actually the spoon. These work out pretty good. And like I said, uh, let me put it this way. Oh, come on. That's kind of what they look like. Uh, they're real popular. People like them. Think they're cool. I do dragonflies and I do firefly lamps. I do clocks and other furniture, but anyway, that's just a little kind of a uh, extra about these. I'm going to be doing videos on how I make those, and uh, I've got another page that I uh, I'm going to start putting videos out to. It's Day Draco Designs with a space in between each word. I don't have any videos yet, but they'll be coming out. But anyway, these will be happening, and uh, thank you for watching. Hello, YouTubers. I should have started this video earlier, but I didn't. So I'm going to have to start it now, partway through the project. I picked this up. It comes in from Tibet. I uh, had a sheath. That was made of thin uh, brass. It fell apart. It wasn't very good. Um, I've had this knife for a while. I picked it up on eBay for about 35 bucks, And it came with a set of chopsticks that was integrated into the sheath. I uh, decided, oh, I might want me another one. Started looking at them, and they're like a couple hundred bucks now. They're not cheap. So I'm going to make a new sheath for this. I had made one. This is all done by hand, and I had that jute cord wrapped around it, and this was the loop for the belt, and this held the knife on. I cut all that off, sanded this, because um, I want to make uh, redo the sheath, and I'm going to redo it. That's how this fits in here. And I want to make it where it's more usable and more rugged. So, I'm thinking of coating it with this. And seeing how well that holds up. I haven't quite figured out whether I'm going to put a strap on it or put a uh, clip on it. 
but I'll figure that out when I get to that point. But we'll see how that works. And the way I'm going to do that and then that will allow me to hang it and let it dry. So I'm going to get started on this project and from time to time show you where I'm at on it. 